Welcome to Scanny TV or YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars players. Yes, this is weekend, and we have to bring you their performances and all on this channel. Today, AFCON final will also happen. The biggest game in the world today will happen at the start. Olympic our son Watarade Bimpe in Ivory Coast is going to be Nigeria versus um, Ivory Coast um, the elephant. It's going to be really interesting. Who is winning this game? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box today. At London Stadium, it was West Ham United versus um, you know Arsenal and today West Ham. Come on, six goals to no defeat at home. It was a humiliating scoreline. Kudos was in action. We will talk about him as well. Then we will fly to France. In France, we had Andre Ayu versus Ali Dissedu. It was a tough game. We will talk about that as well. Then one youngster who is shooting so well in the French League One at the moment. Nathaniel J will speak about him and some other players' performances and more in this update. You know how we do it on this channel. Anytime we join you, we bring you all the latest updates in a quick way but detailed on this channel. So before we delve into the details, don't forget to like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put us on post notifications so that anytime we drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box as well. I also try and give some shout outs to those who commented under the last video on this channel so stick and stay for that this video is also brought to you in collaboration with parimatch.com.gh parimatch.com.gh yesterday and today things are going on well for the gamers and you know the investors i know they can testify so go to parimatch.com.gh the link will be in the video description and the comment box i'll pin it down there go and start betting if you are above 18 years if you are below 18 you are not um you know allowed to also bet in there bet responsibly we have the biggest us, fastest payout, everything on parimatch.com.gh. Before you load your money or your deposit, use Uskenia as well, and you'll be given some 200% bonus for yourself. If you want to play casino games or Aviata, use OCGM, OSIGM, and you'll also be given 200% bonus on parimatch.com.gh. So follow the link and go and enjoy some of the games after the video. Now, let me quickly run you through players' performances and more. We will also come to the AFCON final and speak a little about it because Ivory Coast, um, things are really going on well for them. And Ghana, this could have been easily big black, black stars. You know, tournaments, it was played with players who are determined, coaches who are also tactically good, and FA who has done their things right. And today, I think we are all going to enjoy the final at 8 p.m. And that is it. So, let's begin from West Ham game. Yes, today, um, Kudus was in action, but I think they don't go on well for Kudus and all the other West Ham players. Today, their rating was just below 7. Almost all of them are around 6. Some are even 5 points. something. take Zuma in the lights. So, Arsenal, yes, as I said already, 6 goes to no away. We had the likes of um, Bukayo Saka scoring. Um, Gabriel Martinelli did he even score. Or, um, the defender Gabriel Magahis, a lot of them were scoring goals. I can't even follow the count, you know. So that is it. Now let's talk about our star boy Kudus. This year, 2024, it is not going on well for West Ham United as a team. The coach David Moyes and the players they need to really lift themselves up. The team they defend too much. I mean, the absence of Pakita, no one is giving Kudus that long pass again. So Kudus is not really fed well, and sometimes really affecting him in games. He started and completed 90 minutes. But after 90, he was rated 6.2. You can see the heat map and everything here. Touches were 38 in the game for Kudus. He gave 15 out of 18 passes attempts, which is 83%. He also made two crosses. None was successful. Long balls, he sent one. It was accurate as well for him. Shot on target was one. And shot off target, none in the game. Shot block was one for Kudus. Kudus also went on to um, attempt five dribblings. Three were successful in the game. He also had ground balls of 15 and won seven. Um, Aero was he went in for one did, and also won it as well. Aero Dwell, yes, he got it. Um, possession loss were 13 for Kudus. Kudus also went on to make three fouls. He was fouled twice to one offside for him, two tackles, and the rebel pass were two in the game for Mohamed Kudus. So 6.2 rating, not good from Kudus that we know him. You know, things were not good for them as a team today and that is it for the star boy now let me move away from england and let's go to france we had le Havre versus Stad ren le Havre were at home and Stad ren went there to beat them one goal to nil in the french league one and andre are you the captain he was in action as well as ali disedu let me start from the winning side ali disedu he didn't start the game today but he came on on the 61st first minute to also play 29 minutes plus of additional time for his side he got a rating of 6.8 
Today, when he came on, he played as a right back. The right back was substituted, so he came to replace them, and he did very well. And one clearance in the game for him. He also made one interception, two tackles, touches were 19, 11 out of 13 passes given, which is 85%. He also went on to have one long ball, which wasn't a great ground He went in for six and got four right. Possession loss were two for Alidu Seidu. Fouls were two. He was fouled twice as well, and that is it for Alidu as they won by a goal to know against Andre Ayus they have Andre Ayus he also came on and he did very very well I can actually testify here yeah, he played 25 minutes and he was rated 7.1 after 25 minutes he had two shots which were on target one shot was off target as well so it means that he had three shots in the game he really wanted to score you know um touches were 11 for him he gave four passes all the four were accurate so 100% for Andre Ayus he also went on for four ground was he won two area area was he went in for four and one two as well possession loss were two and he made one foul for himself in the game now let me move away and talk about next one Lauren, yes, Lauren were also in action and today they beat Stad Rem by two goals to now. And in Lauren, we have one Ghanaian youngster who is doing so well. That is Nathaniel Eje. He is a centre-back. This boy moved from Hamabi this season to join them in France. And I'll come and speak extensively about him because he is one centre-back that Ghanaians we should be watching. I told you that when he was at Hamabi, clubs like Rangers, Celtic, um, Leeds United, Sheffield, they were all interested in him, including Sunderland and the likes, but the player chose to join Laurent in France, and now he's lifting them from the bottom three, and um, gradually they will be moving up in the French League 1 ladder. Nathaniel Ajay, he started and completed 90 minutes. He was rated 7.4. Last week, he made his debut, and the debut game that he played, he entered the team of the week in the French League 1. This weekend, again, super performance. 7.4 rating, 90 minutes. He um, blocked three shots in the game. Eight clearances as a centre-back. Two tackles in the game. Touches were 50. He gave 22 out of 33 passes. That is 67% um, percent in the game. For the centre-back, he also went on for two ground goals. He won all of them. Aero goals, he went in for three and got one right. Possession loss were 11, and that is it. Four. Nathaniel AJ. He is also doing well for himself in the French League One. So, these are some of the few Ghanaian players who have so far played. The likes of Artis Gui is playing at the moment. Um, Inyak Williams will also play, I think, tomorrow. And some other players who will be playing are bringing a lot of updates. Joseph Pinto, I also learned he is also playing. Yes, Jenk, I also in action and he is starting. So, I'll be following them and bring you all their updates on this channel. Now, let me talk about AFCON before I actually end everything. Today, it's going to be Nigeria versus Ivory Coast. Don't forget, in the group stage, um, Nigeria, they got um, a win over Ivory Coast. That was one goal to know in the group. And now they are meeting in the finals again. So who is winning? These two countries both have won 9-9 nine -nine games and draw 10 draws for, um, you know, in their games. And today, who wins the ultimate trophy? It is going to be really interesting. And um, personally, I think if Ivory Coast win, I'll be happy. But on paper, Nigeria is the favorite because Nigeria, if you look at their team from defense, from goalkeeping to defense to a, a midfield to attack, Stanley Wabali will be in post. I know the coach will also start, um, you know, the three back, the likes of Sami Ajayi, Calvin Basse, William Trossekon. Then he will come to the midfield. Franco Nyeka will play um, alongside Alex Iwobi. We have Ola Aina here, Sanusi on the left. Um, Ademola Lukman here, Moses Simon and Victor Oshiman leading the line. So, Nigeria, you can just talk about their starting 11 off head. You know, Ivory Coast, well, you can mention that they also have Fofana in post, the likes of Nyakite, um, Frankese, um, Stabeste, Hale, all the other guys are also going to be there. So, today is going to be a really interesting game. It actually pains me that I left Ivory Coast to Ghana before this final. I should have just stayed and enjoyed the final in there, but you know, it is also part of it. But I think we should all wait and enjoy that game. 8 p.m. at the start Olympic our son what's already been paid it is going to be an interesting game I will predict I will predict 1-1 at full time 1-1 at full time I don't know who actually left the trophy you know but well, well my heart is with Ivory Coast but my mind tells me that um, you know Nigeria will leave the trophy but I will follow my heart any time any day so guys that's it should Nigeria win it and get four times um, you know Afcon as Ghana well let's wait and see how things will pan out let me give a shout out to you guys before I take leave of you shout out going out to Blue View Capital I appreciate you so much for always being with me Philip um, 
it's official. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. I also have True Yen. You also on this channel. Voice as Evanos is always here. Lord Saint GH. Thank you for being here. Um, Lord Sam. Okay, Lord Sam GH. Thank you. Um, then I have something Kudaho. I appreciate you a lot, bro. Living Bed Thomas. You also on this channel. Um, NS Tamitefi is also here. First Amalia. I appreciate you so much. Um, Amura Jonas. You also on this channel. Richard Quasin. Thank you. Ahmed Tijan is also here. Haruna Mohammed. Thank you for being here. Nathaniel Diagram. You also on this channel. Imano Amani is also here. Jumo Samson. I appreciate you. Kofi Krabia Sante Dakun is here. Prince Akuri is also on this channel. Prince Kofi, yes, you are also here. Barak says, 365, Nana Boatin, teach them. Um, God's Way, Eziko, Jason Grant, um, Sakwa Ebenezer, Sowa Joseph, um, S. Romantic, okay, you know, S. Romani, Eric. Um, then I have Sloman, um, Solomon, yes, Minta, also on this channel. Jeremiah Insol as well. Inusak Musa in front TV. Blessing, um, Ima8485. Love your Jima, you're also on this channel. Moses Sabari is here. Then Tiki Taka Boles is the last person to comment under the last video. As of the time, I'm recording this one, guys. So, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.